Terrence Bud Crawford is in a tough place and he got some real tough decisions to make coming up in the near, near future. Before we get into this next video, make sure that you smash on my like button and sub to the channel if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. So we all know recently, Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford, the fight was ordered by the WBO. Now, everybody, initial reaction, everybody got excited about this. I got excited about it because it's really our first chance to see Terrence Crawford in the ring with another top level welterweight you know he has never fought a top level welterweight in his whole career at the welterweight division and some people may argue that he's never fought a top level opponent in his whole career you know some people will say Gamboa but how good really was Gamboa you know coming up in weight being off of over a year layoff but that's a whole nother story in itself now, Terrence Crawford, we all know that he has great skills. He's a great fighter, but he still needs that legacy a defining fight. He still needs that fight to where he can say, you know, I be the top dog in the division I was in because he's never got a chance to do that before. He's never had that fight before. Now, Sean Porter is a dog. We know that everybody that fights Sean Porter has a very tough time beating Sean Porter. Every fight that Sean Porter's in, win, lose, or draw, they're all close fights. We recently heard Terrence Crawford, when he found out about the news of him and Sean Porter being ordered, Terrence Crawford basically made a statement like that he was excited and that, you know, they had to make Sean Porter get in the ring with him. You know, that all of the other fighters been ducking him, Sean Porter been ducking him, and they had to make Sean Porter get in the ring with him. If you know boxing, and if you know what's been going on with Terrence Crawford's career, that is a lie. It's a flat out false lie. We all know that Terrence, that uh, Sean Porter and Kenny Porter have been calling out Terrence Crawford for quite some time now. You know, uh, Terrence Crawford, he even got aggravated because Sean Porter was calling him out. And Sean Porter had to go back and apologize for calling out Terrence Crawford because they have somewhat of a, of a friendship. You know, and Sean Porter said that he shouldn't have done it in the public, that he should have done it behind scenes. He should have did it in a different way. Anyway, with all of that being said, you know, this statement that Terrence Crawford just made that everybody's been ducking him and they had to force somebody to get in the ring with him. Right. We know that's a lie because Terrence Crawford, he had been trying to get a fight with Manny Pacquiao for years. Manny Pacquiao and his team, right, allegedly agreed to fight Terrence Crawford. Bob Arum said that everything was basically signed, sealed, and delivered, but Bob Arum said that Terrence Crawford refused to sign his part of the contract. That was a big fight. We all know what happened with Manny Pacquiao. He's ended up getting the Errol Spence fight. We know that Keith Thurman called Terrence Crawford out, right? Keith Thurman called Terrence Crawford out, and you guys start complaining that Keith Thurman was asking for too much money, and he was overpricing himself. Well, they said that Keith Thurman asked for 10 million. Well, when you ask for 10 million, right? If you're a fighter and you're trying to negotiate a fight purse, right? Uh, especially a top fighter like Keith Thurman, you never start lowballing yourself. You never start low. You start high, and then it's up to Terrence Crawford's team, his management team, and Bob Arum to negotiate somewhere in between. But you never even tried to negotiate with Keith Thurman. Also, in the past, you know, Danny Garcia was offered a fight with you. But Bob Arum only wanted to offer Danny Garcia $3 million. Why would Danny Garcia go over to ESPN platform, fight on their platform for a $3 million purse when he's making more than that fighting guys like Adrian Granados? So, I mean, your statement is false. You know, even Errol Spence, he offered you a 60-40 split and you turned down the uh, verbal offer. You turned down the verbal agreement because you said that you wouldn't take no less than 50-50. So that doesn't sound like somebody that has all the division ducking them and that they have to force somebody to get in the ring with you. That's false, Terrence Crawford. But anyway, now you finally have somebody, right, that's been willing to get in the ring with you and you finally have a fight that they ordered for you, right, that they ordered. They ordered it for you and Sean Porter to get in the ring and face off 
uh, you know, for that WBO strap that you got because Sean Porter is the number one mandatory contender. But it's a big catch to this. You know, there is a big catch to this fight happening and for the fight to go down because it might not take place because Terrence Crawford has a lot of decisions, tough decisions to make. And let me explain to y'all what those decisions are. Now, Terrence Crawford is still under contract with Top Rank. He still owes Top Rank one more fight, right? He owes Top Rank one more fight in that contract. Now, we all been, had been hearing rumors that in October, you know, Terrence Crawford was going to fight Jose uh, Zepeda. And then Terrence Crawford was going to go off in the sunset and become a free agent because he would no longer be in the contract with Top Rank. But this order in the fight with Sean Porter, that throws a whole wrench in the whole situation with him being becoming a free agent as soon as October. And the reason it does is because we already heard Bob Arum say that he is not willing to pay for a fight with Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford. We heard him say that he's not willing to pay for that fight, right? So, with him not willing to pay for that fight, that fight is gonna go to purse bid. Now, when that fight goes to purse bid, Bob Arum already let it be known that he's not willing to pay for the fight. So what happens is PBC, they're probably gonna win the purse bid. And if PBC wins the purse bid, Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford will take place on PBC platform. Right now, while the fight is taking place on the PBC platform, Bob Arum, he's still going to get his cut. He will still get his cut. But the thing about it is Terrence Crawford will still owe one more fight to top rank in that, that that contract that he has will get extended out because he's still gonna owe one more fight to top rank. By that time, Josh Taylor, right? By the time he goes and he, def if he defends his title successfully on the PVC platform against Sean Porter, by that time, you know, once they rest up, you know, these guys, they don't fight more than twice a year anyway. By that time, Josh Taylor would have already defended his 140 pound undisputed championships and then Terrence Crawford would have already defended his WBO championship against Sean Porter. Now we in 2022, but you're still under contract in 2022 with top rank because at that time you still haven't gave them a fight. So this gives Bob Arum more than enough time to make the fight that he really wanted in the first place. He wants to make the fight with Josh Taylor and Terrence Crawford. This gives him more than enough time so this thing can drag on, drag on well into 2022. Maybe the end of 2022 if Bob Arum want to sit Terrence Crawford on the shelf like he did already this year and want to just string it out. He, you know, he could do that. We all know how Bob Aaron works. So we don't know when Terrence Crawford is really going to get out of this contract because we don't know when he's going to give uh, top rank the next fight. So it's a decision he got to make, right? Does he decide to, you know, leave top rank immediately and go and fight Jose Zapata, right? If he decides to leave top rank immediately and go over and fight Jose Zapata on top rank, that way he could just get it over with and chunk the deuces. Well, then he could do that. You know, he'll be out of his contract as soon as October. But one thing to it, he'll have to let go of that strap. He's going to have to let go of that strap. And then Sean Porter will end up fighting somebody for that strap. So if he wants to hold on to that strap, well, he going to have to stay with top rank a little longer, y'all. How longer, how much longer, I don't know. He, he gonna have to let it string out a little longer if he wants to hold on to that title. If he wants to hold on to that title, it's gonna have to string out a little longer than October, maybe mid 2022, maybe the end of 2022. We don't know. But Terrence Crawford has some very tough decisions to make. And uh, this is unfortunate for Terrence Crawford. You know, um, it's unfortunate for Terrence Crawford, but you know, Terrence Crawford, you know, him making false accusations and things like that, it just don't make no sense. And I'm going to uh, talk about, you know, something that Terrence Crawford said in 2020. 
Terrence Crawford put out a statement, right? And this is what the statement said. He says, and stop using the effing promoters, managers, and advisors for that weak ass excuse y'all doing. They work for us. Y'all dumb MFs, if you really want to fight, you tell them, I don't give two Fs. That's who I want to fight. Let your nuts drop. You say you your own boss at Errol Spence Jr. Well, if that's the case, you said that they work for you. If you really want to fight, you could make the fight as a fighter. Well, how come you never made the fight with Manny Pacquiao, right? How come you never made the fight with Keith Thurman? How come you never made the fight with Errol Spence? He offered you 60-40. You said that they work for you. That means that Bob Aaron works for you. If you really want the fight, you would have had all those fights, Terrence Crawford. That's what you said, right? Make it make sense to me, Terrence Crawford. Anyway, I wish nothing but the best for the Terrence Crawford. You know, hopefully he can become a free agent and keep his title. You know, the only way that he can come, become a free agent as soon as October and keep his title at the same time without having to drop it is that if my man Al Heyman decides that, you know what? I'm not going to bid on this fight. I'm going to go ahead and pull out of the purse bid because we'll just wait to make the fight with Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter when Terrence Crawford becomes a free agent. That's the only thing that's going to save Terrence Crawford from having to drop his belt or stay longer with top rank. Anyway, y'all know how I do. There you go talking that boxing again. Make sure that you smash on my like button and sub to the channel if you haven't already subbed and Drop a comment in the comment section and let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation. I'm gone.